Welcome everyone to another Observability Clinic and another Dynatrace App Spotlight. Today, we put the spotlight on the Business Flow app. Understand and optimize your business process flows with Dynatrace Business Flow application. And I have Klaus back with me. Servus, Klaus. Servus, Andy. Hey, um, I would say we did a Salesforce with you already. We did the Carbon uh, Impact app already. Today is the Business Flow app. What is the Business Flow app, Klaus? It's a great app. It's an amazing app that... Uh allows our customers to go the next step. For years, they have stitched together business flows kind of with single value charts on dashboards, independent steps. And with the BizFlow app, we basically make that now in one app possible, tie everything together. And it's no longer individual counts for each step, but really you can tie individual flows together mm -hmm. and it goes beyond our user session and our peer path that's the cool thing that is really cool i know business events klaus and i we've been talking a lot about business events already in the recording i will also link to the observability clinics we did on business events in gestion because that's what powers all of this uh i can see it's in the hub can you show us this thing live to even get people more excited to actually download it and install it sure so when you go to your new Dynatrace uh, environment, you can just simply go to the hub and uh, in the hub under business analytics, you have the business flow app. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take a look at it, two nice screenshots, the release notes. Uh, we are just uh, in the phase of, of, of releasing here. So it's really going to get a lot of push in the next couple of weeks and months on this app. Really nice. Cool. Once you installed it, you can uh, move on and use it. And the end result of such a flow that uh, you configured may look like this. This is a very short one inspired by a customer that is all into payment processes where you're monitoring basically very, very deeply the individual steps. And you can see here, that we have here the place order, that we have here the payments uh, pending, and we have here the payment confirmation with quite some exceptions. And also between this and this step, you see here the drops. Mm -hmm. And in case you have there not simulated data where it takes like 275 milliseconds, you potentially have there also in flight. Think about longer lasting processes where maybe between this step and this step, you have hours or even days in between. Mm -hmm. That's now possible to see. The cool thing is it's uh, integrated with uh, the exceptions that Dynatrace has captured, but we are also introducing here a new concept of business exceptions. Mm -hmm. Why did we do so? Because not every problem for a user is actually a problem for the IT team. Mm -hmm. The user may have typed in the wrong credit card number, um, may have misspelled his email address and those kind of things lead to problems or tries to order something that is actually no longer in stock. Uh, that's all business related exceptions, not really IT exceptions. And we now allow you to identify those and report on those. And uh, in this case though, it is all about IT problems. And you see basically how people are dropping out here. In an alternative view, you can switch from this tree view that is for complex, but as we have here, a very simple, straightforward flow, you can also take a look at it from a funnel perspective. How do people at which step uh, drop out? And this is based, as you said, on uh, business events. Mm -hmm. And from these uh, information, from this business uh, uh, events that are lying behind these views, we are also deriving what uh, what is the revenue of this uh, of this process? What is the what are the conversions? Basically, how many people are getting from step one to step zero? Is it changing? Is it getting better? Are there any uh, business exceptions impacting you? And what's the average fulfillment time from start to the uh, start to the end? All critical uh, KPIs that you can take a look at and uh, work with. Mm -hmm. In order to get started, it's super simple. We spoke about business events. I'll jump here to this view. When you are in the overview, you just say like, hey, I wanna create a new one. 
And similar to the workflow uh, engine, you just add here with plus multiple steps, and then you decide what should go into such a step. We have here uh, our good old easy travel. If you think about a front end uh, web uh, journey uh, process, basically you would start with the search in the first step, you would then uh, have in the second step, we are really quick, we are in the payment, but we see here already for easy travel.com, we also get this payment failures. So we can edit here by uh, just making here this tick out of this business event becomes then uh, the uh, the business exception because yeah, you need to investigate the payload to know whether this is a legit or good request or not. And last but not least, uh, we put here the booking finish step. That way we have that uh, all of it configured and yeah, things that we can do as we rename it uh, uh, to whatever we want, these steps. And last but not least, and this is our, our apps spotlight flow that we just created. Important last setting in the advanced settings, if we are tying uh, things together, uh, not based on a pure path, not based on a user session, you can add in here a correlation ID as I configured things before. I already get suggested that the account ID is a good way to move forward to tie these uh, three steps together. And then we are not looking at individual accounts, but really at the exact journeys of individual account IDs in this case. Pretty impressive. Uh, Klaus, uh, to, to, to recap what I just saw, uh, and maybe you can do me a favor and go to your second tab that you have open. So that means as a Dynatrace user, I can now ingest what we call business events, either from your, uh, from your instrumentated application, from your APIs, from your, uh, you can also extract it from logs. You can send it in via an API, as we said. Um, that means you can capture your whole end-to-end -end business process with Dynatrace with so-called business events. And now we give you a visual way to say, this is actually my business process from the first time a user enters my system until the order, until the payment, until the delivery is happening. And instead of, as you said, going through building your own dashboards that show all this and, and instead of creating your own DQL queries, we made it very easy using the same workflow point and click components uh, that we have uh, used in our workflow app, you can just put together your uh, your business flow. And I guess that's also why it's obviously called the business flow app. Uh, and then you give to get the nice out of the box uh, KPIs. Uh, it's really nice, Klaus. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Yeah, And it's really cool because it's tied into the landscape of Dynatrace. Yeah. So you're not only taking a look and monitoring now your business flow, but you're actually uh, able to see if IT is impacting those flows mm -hmm. and if you have to react to those. Mm -hmm. That's that's the that's the beauty. Is this remember when we spoke about BIS DevOps years yeah. ago when we started? Yep. This is a true enabler of this collaboration between line of business and IT. Perfect. So folks, um, go to your hub and uh, as Klaus showed on the hub you can find the BIS uh, flow app very easy to install. Uh, and uh, again, go ahead. And if you want to know more about business events, how you can ingest them, then also check out the links in the video because I'm also linking to the observability clinics that Klaus and I have already recorded on business events in general. Klaus, awesome. It's like amazing how much innovation comes out of your team, uh, out of all of the Anatrace, but this is a great new app and I'm sure this is not the last one. No, it will not be. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>